So I want to welcome you to the Tesla demo lesson. Um, today, I'm going to do a very short uh, demo. And this demo is, is an example of one thing that we do in our Tesla classes. So I'll do a quick demo, and it's a nice uh, technique to memorize information when uh, for your students. So it's a really nice memorization technique. Nice memorization technique. So I'll do my demo, and then after my demo, I'm going to ask the other students to leave, and I'll just uh, explain more about Tesla for you guys, okay? And this will only be about half an hour. It only takes about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And please feel free to ask any questions if you have any questions, okay? Okay, so first of all, my name is Pete. I'm a TESOL for middle school teacher, but I also teach the other TESOL classes as well. Um, and can I have your name, please? I'm Lee. Sorry? Lee. Lee. I'm nice Lee. to meet you, Lee. Yeah, great. And you're from... Maybe, okay, nice to meet you, Lee. And your name? Sean. Hi, Sean. Are you from Canada? No. Are you from <laughs> Mars? Are you from Jupiter? Are you from Saturn? Sun. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're very hot. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, where are you from? Korea. Okay, great. So, um, and I know the names of the other students in the class. Just to let you know, some of these students are my students right now, and some are my previous students. Mm -hmm. So I've just invited them to watch this short little demo as well, okay? So let's start. I want to start with a very nice memorization technique. I think I'll turn this off right for now because I don't quite need it. Um, the name of this technique is called a mnemonic uh, device. The M is silent, so it's a mnemonic device. And it's a nice technique for teachers to use to help their students memor informa memorize information. Okay, so let's start. Now this is, again, it's an example of one thing that we might teach our students in our TESOL classes. So let's start. Okay, um, great. Ash, who do you think she is? She is, who do you think she is? What is she? She is a? Mom. Hmm. Yeah, thank I forgot your name. Sean. Sean, yeah. So it's a mom. Mother. She is mother. Good job. Mm. Okay, mother. So let me put that right here. Do I need to stay? No, maybe not. Okay, so she, uh, uh, Jamie, one more time. She's a? Mother. Whose mother is she? Use the pronoun. She is. She's my mother. So she's my mother. She's my mother. She's not yours. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. So my mother. My. Very. My mother is very enthusiastic. I want a shorter word, synonym of enthusiastic. She is very e, mm, e, louder stuff. Eager. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. Sorry. Ashley, louder. Eager. Yeah, okay. So my mother is very eager. Okay. Uh, let's talk about her occupation. Okay. Let's talk about her job. Jay, hi, how are you? Uh, my mother is what? What do you think she does for a living? Uh, she's a waitress, okay. Uh, tell me another word for waitress. Starts Server. With e <laughs> <laughs> You're too smart. <laughs> it starts with the letter S. Server. She's a server, exactly, okay. But server is a noun. Tell me the verb form. Served. Served. Past tense, served. Good, okay. Uh, ready. Okie dokie. No, I want to go there. I use this. Okay, so let's put this. Is that going to stay there? Okay. My. Okay, I'm almost. 
almost finished my sentence. I've got one more picture to show you. And one of my favorite types of food is this right here, as you can see. One of my favorite, very favorite types of food. Lee, can you tell me what is this? Mamma mia, it's a spaghetti, yes, but what's another word for spaghetti? Pasta. A pasta, yes, I know, a pasta is a good word, but I need another word for a pasta. Noodles. Thank you. Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so these are noodles, so let's put this on the whiteboard. <laughs> Suddenly hungry? Yeah. Okay. All right. My very eager mother just served too. Just served? Us. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got my sentence. This sentence is a mnemonic device. It's going to help you remember some very, very, very im information. Okay. But first, repeat after me. My very eager mother just served us noodles. My very eager mother just served us noodles. Good. One more time. My very My eager mother, listen up, listen up. My very eager mother just served us noodles. My very eager mother just served us noodles. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. I've got my last picture to show you. Uh, ah, very interesting picture. Okay, here's a picture of uh, some round objects found in the sky. Anybody know what these objects are all? Space. I'm thinking of the letter, these objects are, sorry, Steph? Planets. Planets, yes, these objects are called planets. Do you live on a planet? Do I live on a planet? Yeah. Do you live on a planet? No, no okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, now these are all planets. Let's start with this guy right here. He is not a planet. He's very, really hot. It's where Sean is from. This is called the sun. Okay, so I want to make a quick picture on the whiteboard. I want to remember. I want to get my red marker. Okay, and so with my red marker. <laughs> uh, Lee, what is what is this? Lee, what is that? Yeah, good. So it's a sun. Okay. Okay. Now, if this is the sun, this is a planet. Now, this planet is the closest planet to the sun. Um, because you're right here, can you see the name of the planet? Mercury. Okay, so Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. What's the, uh, Sean, what's the closest planet to the sun? Mercury. Mercury. Good job. Okay, so now, in my sentence, I'm going to put the word Mercury. Hmm. Let's put the word Mercury right there. Let's move on to the second closest planet from the sun, which is this planet right here. Ash, can you tell me the name of this planet? Venus. Good job, Venus. Venus is the second closest planet to the sun. Mm -hmm. So what word can I put here? Mm -hmm. So I can put Venus here. Okay. Now, this is the most famous planet. Uh, Yes, I think we're all aware of this planet. Stephanie, um, do you know the name of this planet here? It's right by my finger. Yeah, Earth. Have, have, you heard of, have you heard of Earth before? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you live on Earth right now? Yeah. Okay. Did you live on Earth yesterday? Yes. Will you live on Earth tomorrow? Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> okay. So let's put Earth right here. Earth, E-A-R-T-H. Down. We don't really need these pictures anymore. Let's move on. Now, one of my famous students, his name is Teu. This is his. This is where he is from, right here. It's the red planet. He's holding the video camera right now, so maybe I should not tease him. But anything. 
Kiwa, what's the name of this planet? Mars, yes, yeah. Teu, hi Teu. Are you from Mars? No, you're not from Mars, I'm just teasing you. But anyways, Mars is the red planet, and it's the next planet in our solar system. Mars. Taka, how many planets do we have so far? Oh, okay, let's quickly move on. The next planet is the biggest planet in the solar system. Jamie, how are you? Jamie, what is this big planet called? Jupiter? Yeah, that's right, it's called Jupiter. And then, Lee, what's the next? It's, this is the famous planet with the rings. What's it called? Saturn. Yeah, good for you. Okay, so let's put Jupiter here. J-U-P-I-T-E-R. And let's put what planet here? Tuck? Saturn. Okay, only two more planets left to go. Uh, this lovely color here, um, this is called Ur Uranus. It's Uranus, it's hard to pronounce, Uranus. And then our final planet in the sky, uh, Amber, is the lovely blue planet. And it's called? Neptune. Neptune. Okay, so now we know the order Uranus of the planets from the sun. Uh, Ashley, yeah. what planet is the fourth closest to the sun? Mm, Mars. Yes, Mars is the fourth fourth closest planet to the sun. And Kiwa, which planet is farthest from the sun? Neptune. Neptune. Great. Okay. So now. Your homework tonight is to study this information, because I'll give you a test tomorrow on the order of the planets from the sun. So when you go home tonight, what I'd like you to try to remember is this sentence. My very eager mother just served us noodles. Say this sentence as you're on the bus or the SkyTrain or walking down Denman Street or Robson Street, say it over and over and over. You will remember the sentence, and then tomorrow, if you remember this sentence, you should be able to remember the planets as well. Especially, you will be able to remember the order of the planets from the sun. Hmm. Okay. Very quickly, let's just quickly review. Step. Can you read out the planets in order from the sun, please? Starting with Mercury. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Good job. Okay. Ash, can you read out the order of the planets starting from Mercury? Yes, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, you, Good job. Uranus. <laughs> yes. Uranus, yeah. Neptune. Well done. Good for you. Okay. Reese, can you? Mercury? Good for you. Great. Kiwa? Mercury? Well done. Great. Jamie? Mercury?
two planets start with the letter M, so it could be a little bit confusing. Let me give you a tip. It's very simple to remember the order of these two M planets. Mercury has to go first because Mercury ends with the Y, and so does my. So you remember that? My ends in a Y. This planet here has to end with a Y. If you remember that, then you'll remember that Mars goes here. Okay. That's it for your class today. You're free to go home. And tomorrow, there will be a test on this information. So remember the sentence. You should be able to remember the order of the planets from the sun. And stop. Thank you very much.